In this video, I'm gonna show you how to smoke a delicious rack of lamb. Hi there, I hope you're well wherever you are and you got that thin blue smoke rolling. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to smoke a simple, delicious rack of lamb in the stretch smoker oven from Jagged Woodfire. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ben, this is Smoking Hot Confessions, and we are mad about barbecue. Every Thursday, we publish a new episode of our internationally awarded Smoking Hot Confessions barbecue podcast. Every Saturday, we publish a new one of these cooking videos, and every Tuesday, we publish a new tips video. So if you love barbecue too, and you need to get more barbecue into your life, consider subscribing, hit that little notification bell, and we'll tell you every time we upload a new video. Let's get back to the cooking. It's no surprise to any of you that lamb is getting more and more expensive and racks especially so. These ones we're going to do today, I picked them up at Aldi, the price was comparatively affordable and the quality is actually really good. Now lamb is known for being a gamey meat, quite a strong flavour, but the way we're going to trim, season and gently smoke these racks today will have even the pickiest eater chewing off the bone. Alright, now we're going to need a couple of tools to help us get this done today. The first thing of course is you're going to want a nice cutting board and today we've got this beautiful customised one here from Heartland Customs down in South Australia. The next thing you're going to want is a nice quality steel to put a nice sharp edge back on your knife. And today's knife is going to be a nice boning knife, we've got a nice flexible bladed one here, you'll see why that's important shortly. Next on the list is our instant read thermometer. This uh, probe pops out of here lets you get the exact internal temperature of the meat and test for feel and things like that as well. You've heard me talk about these before. And something you might not have seen me use before is a wireless leave-in thermometer. Why, why I call it leave-in is because you put the probes into the meat, you leave them in, in the smoker. That's going to give us a smartphone readout telling us the constant temperature of the meat so we're going to know exactly what temperature to pull it out at. When it comes to trimming lamb racks, you've got a couple of choices. One is you can just do nothing and leave it as is, but the problem is the seasoning's not going to get down onto the meat. What I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to take this layer of fat off the top. You can see we've got quite a lot of layer of fat there. I'm going to French down in between the bones a little bit, and then I'm going to foil the bones to keep them looking nice during the cooking process. Make sure you do try and keep as much of the meat that you knock off as possible. You can always throw that in the freezer and then pull it out at another time, run it through a mincer for burgers or sausages or stuff like that. We're going to want to remove this silver skin as well from here so the seasoning that we're going to put on can get down and touch the meat as well. Now you can see here there's this little bit of meat just on the outside there, this little separate muscle. I'm actually going to try and leave that on there today just to have a little bit more bite in the end, but if you just want purely the medallion, so you've got like the little meat lollipop, you trim that off as well and put that into your offcuts for your mince and whatnot. So you can see there's still this bit of seam of fat running between the medallion and the rest of the rack. If I turn it like that, you can actually see that if I try and cut that out, I'm going to end up separating the medallion from the rack. So I'm going to leave that in there, and that little bit of fat isn't going to damage the flavour that much. There we go, ready for the foil. 
All right, so now it's time to foil these bones. Now, fortunately, this is super simple to do. All we're gonna do is tear up some rectangles of foil, and then we just take these and wrap them around the bones. Now, what foiling the bones does is it protects the bones while it's in the smoker and stops them from discoloring. Helps just a little bit with presentation. That's it, ready for seasoning. When it comes to lamb rubs, there's basically two choices. A lot of lamb rubs are really herby. A lot of the traditional sort of oregano or even mint type spices that you might remember from growing up. The other way is to go with just spices. And what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go with jackalope the rub. Now this is a personal favorite here at Smoking Hot Confessions. This is really, really good stuff. Now that this rack has been trimmed, foiled and seasoned, it's time to go in the smoker. All right, so now we've got these racks of lamb in the smoker and this is where our wireless thermometer is gonna come in. This particular guy is a fireboard and what we're gonna do is we're gonna run a probe into the meat, into the fireboard. The fireboard then sends the internal temperature of the lamb to my phone so I can monitor there and I can know exactly the temperature that I pull it off. Now the smoker today is running at 275 degrees Fahrenheit and the internal temperature that we're looking for the lamb is 145. So with that fireboard, we're gonna know exactly what we're looking for and it should only take about an hour or so. This one is an ambient probe and it's gonna keep an eye on the internal temperature of the smoker itself. All right, it's been almost an hour now. The fireboard's telling me that these are at temperature. So I'm just gonna quickly give them a probe with the instant read. Just double checking that we're around 145 for that medium rare. A Little bit over, but that's okay. Over in some parts, under in others. All right, that's all looking top, so now it's onto the sear. One of the things I love about this jagged wood-fired smoker oven is this fire brick base. Not only is it great for searing off the bottom of pizzas, it's also great for searing off our racks of lamb. So all we're gonna do is take the scraper, clean them up, and get them in there. It's gonna give them about 30 seconds. Just gives the exterior a nice crunchy feel in your mouth when you eat it. All right, so now it's time to give these racks a rest, about 10 to 15 minutes. We're gonna wrap them in foil, leave them here on the bench, and then we're gonna slice them up and have a look. Now you might be asking yourself, why the rest? When a piece of meat cooks, it contracts in the heat. And so by giving it a rest, what you're letting it do is you're giving that contracted meat a chance to relax. And that's gonna do two things for you. One, a relaxed meat is gonna be more tender meat when you eat it. And also the juices are gonna redistribute back through the meat. So you've probably done this yourself. You cook a steak, you take it straight off the heat, you slice it open, you look at all the juices come out, you say, wow, look how juicy that steak is. What you should be saying is, wow, look how juicy that steak was because you've sliced it while it's still contracted. So as it's sliced, that contraction, once it's been opened, forces all the liquid out of the meat. So what we're gonna do is just let these have a little rest, about 10 minutes, and then we're gonna cut into them and they should be delicious, soft, and keep all their juices. All right, these racks are rested now, so it's time to open them up and take a look.
All right, this lamb is looking great. It's smelling great. I'm so excited. There's only one thing left for me to do. This is my favorite part of the show. Mmm. That is soft, that is succulent, that is juicy. It's beautiful lamb, hint of smoke, and that seasoning across the top just really takes the cake. So that's it, that was how to smoke up a rack of lamb. Super simple, super delicious, and if you get it from the right place, it's really affordable. So that's all we have time for today. So until next time, take care of each other and keep on queuing. Yeah.